titled Arithmetic Mean Expedition in Other Dimension. So as educators, we should know all the possible ways where we could help the learner understand the K-12 curriculum, especially in grade 10 mathematics. So there are some instances where the students did not understand the lesson in regular class. So maybe they are not interested in the topic or the, uh, they are too boring to listen in all ways of teaching. So in this kind of situation, as educator, we should create learning materials that learner can use to study mathematics even more interesting. So study can be more fun and interesting if we are going to use the strategic intervention materials or what we call the scene. So this strategy gives opportunity to the students to learn things with pleasure. Since students want to learn by doing, so this material provides different activities that's in line with their interest. Gift is to cope up with the topic they consider difficult. So arithmetic mean expedition in other dimension is a scene focuses on arithmetic mean. So supplemental activities are important to enrich young minds. So this material provides a total package of brain feeding activities entitled so maze, puzzle, lock in, and modern mini triangular path. So these activities will surely test the student's ability in understanding arithmetic sequence, especially the arithmetic mean. So what is the baseline data, or what is my baseline data? So my baseline data is the 10 Miss Master Skill Inverse Periodical Test. And this is inserting arithmetic mean in arithmetic sequence. Next slide, go. So I am go. So inserting arithmetic mean in arithmetic sequence. So how did I measure the material if it is effective to the learner? So I conduct pre-test and post-test. So among grade uh, 40 grade 10 students. So the pre-test was administered without the use of the material. I got a result of 55.75%. And the post-test was administered after the use of the material. And got a result of 84.86%. And it shows a remarkable improvement or increase in 29.11%. So now I'm going to present to you the parts of a scene. So first is the cover page. So your cover page must be attractive or eye-catching to the students to get their interest. And it also gives students to motivate uh, to take a look at all the materials or the content of the materials. So next is we have the table of content. So as a guide, then we have the task analysis. So as a task analysis po, so it contains target competency to, do, to improve by the students. And subtasks which the objectives to a learner to the end of the use of the materials. Then we have a short story of the scene. And here is the task or plan of activities. So we have the guide card, activity card, assessment card, and enrichment card. So let, let's have first the uh, uh, guide card. So guide card gives the overview of the lesson. So present some example of focus skill. So we have here the definition of arithmetic sequence and mean. The table shows arithmetic sequence, common difference, and the arithmetic mean of a given arithmetic sequence. So we have examples. So for situation number one, and we have example for situation number two. So inserting more than one arithmetic mean. So after the guide card, so I prepared uh, three activities. So it provides enough practice for the students so that they can perform the skill automatically. Always remember that the activities should be short, simple, and well as fun for the learners. 
So, meron po akong three activities. So, maze puzzle, so log in, and water lily triangular path. So, your activities must be aligned with your objective. So, yung first activity ko po is under subtask 1 and 2. So, identify what is arithmetic mean. And identify the common difference of arithmetic sequence. Then, doon sa activity number 2 po, yung log in, so, under siya ng subtask number 3. So, finding or identifying the arithmetic mean. Then, yung activity number 3, yung uh, water lily triangular path is under sub, uh, topic or uh, sub-objective uh, number 4. So, which is illustrating uh, or finding arithmetic mean in more than 1. Okay, so then we have the assessment card. So assessment card help the students to measure the level of mastery upon completion of the task. So it serves as the evaluation. Okay, so yung uh, assessment card to po, it consists of two types of questions. So we have a multiple choice and sets of problems. Then we have the uh, enrichment card. So it extends the student's learning by providing additional exercises for their application of knowledge. So this time, instead of full numbers, yung example ko, so gumamit po ako ng integers. So involved na po yung mga negative numbers. Then after that, so we have uh, the answer card. So after the activities, so meron sila uh, guide. Uh, para ma-check kung tama yung mga sagot nila, then we have the reference card. So, naka-include dyan lahat ng materials, references, books na ginamit ko to build my SIM. So, yun po. So, update lang po sa SIM. So, last November 26 po, uh, in-evaluate po ito ng DO uh, team ng LRMDS. Then, it will be having a uh, field testing for the final evaluation sa February po, 2018. Maraming salamat po, Sir Nelson Chaga from Bahay to Siluan School.